solo video today, man. I'm doing a uh, little AFL lookalikes. Been wanting to do this for quite a while, man. Uh, it's surprising how people across the world can look like each other. You know, I haven't found nobody that looks like me yet. So if you, by chance, are watching this video, you Australian, or if you're any other nationality, of course, you look like me, let me know, man. We can do a lookalike video, man. But back to the AFL, though, for real, for real. Uh, there are people who, it's just, I'll be watching AFL and I'll see somebody who looks like either an actor or somebody I know a person, uh, personally, or if I, athlete, whatever the case is, bro. It's crazy how people do look alike, and I have uh, a set of people who I think look alike. So I'm gonna start with the AFL player, and I'm gonna follow up with uh, the celebrity of choice, if you will. Uh, so Isaac Smith is the first player I have, the wing from Geelong. I didn't notice this look alike really early on, but it kind of just clicked one day when I was watching the game. Uh, Isaac Smith can look a couple different ways, right? especially like with his beard, without his beard. Um, but with his beard, <laughs> and even to some degree without it, <clears throat> he looks like a guy that I know, MTV Challenger. But Johnny Bananas is who he looks like, man. Uh, I've been watching the challenge since I was young, bro, so I'm pretty familiar with Johnny Bananas. If you watch MTV Challenge, you know who he is because he's been doing it for some years now. Um, but I just think they look alike, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Oh man, they're, they're like brothers, man. They could be brothers with different moms, I feel like. <laughs> okay. Zach Fisher, good old Carlton boy. Fisher, he plays uh, some spells in the midfield. He plays half forward as well. And this is one of the early ones that I thought, because obviously I'm a Carlton supporter and I picked up on Carlton kind of early and I learned more of those players than I did other players. But he, for some reason, bro, and it's, it's not every picture and it's not every situation, bro, especially more so now because he got the longer hair. But he looks like my guy. Well, I never mind, I ain't gonna say my guy. But. Drake Bell, man. That boy look like this nigga Drake Bell. Look at this boy, man. Tell me he don't look like this dude, man. Like the hair, the facial structure, bro. I don't know if it's the eyes, bro. It's something that makes them boys look alike. And there was a couple different pictures I could have chose from. And I just wanted the perfect picture, but probably should throw a couple fish pictures up here because the boys do look alike in my opinion, bro. Just a big age gap between the two. Bailey Fritch from the full four, well, four from Melbourne. Kicked the bag in the grand final, man. Pretty sure everybody's familiar with Bailey Fritch at this point. Uh, for my anime lovers, all right, he's just, this is gonna be an anime character that he looks like, bro. It's just the fade, the hair, bro, the facial structure, bro, uh, and even in this picture, more so the demeanor to the face. He, Bailey Fritch, looks like Porco Galliard, man, the jaw titan from Attack on Titan. But Porco Galliard, bro, just look at the fade, bro, here. Look at it, look at the facial expression. Look at the level of hair, look at the length of hair at the top, bro. Like, them boys, Porco is the anime version of Bailey Fritch. Next. Last year's Brownlow medalist, Ali Wines, midfielder from Port Adelaide, contested ball beast. Ali Wines, look at his head, man. Just look at his shape, look at his shape. And then look at this. <laughs> Enough said, bro. That boy look like that. That's his twin. Animated version of Ali Wines. I don't think we have any disagreements there. Next, man. Shit. Brandon Walker back from North Melbourne. This is him right here. All right, with this, I want you to pay attention to more so the head shape, face too, but the hair too. I might I might get some flack on this one, bro, but <laughs> it's more so when you play. All right, so I also want to say, bro, when I'm watching these games, um, I had to leave some players out, bro, because some players, obviously, everybody looks different when they sweaty and their hair is a mess or whatever. So yeah, some players look like certain people under those conditions, bro. And Brandon Walker, when his hair, when he, bro, when he's sweating and shit, his hair kind of looks like a little, I won't say spiky, but it, it looks more jagged than it does like smooth, if you will. But this is what he looks like, man. Another person from the anime catalog, Marco the Phoenix from One Piece. If you watch One Piece, shout out to Danny Boy. Shout out to Juwan, because he ain't here right now, man. But you know about that. Uh, Y'all boys know about that, man. One of my favorite characters from One Piece, actually. Um, I just think they look like, bro. It's just the, the, the length of the head, bro. The, the, the jaw shape, the hair, bro, the, the forehead, the eyes, bro, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, I feel like some people are gonna disagree with me on this one, but I don't know, I feel like they look alike, especially when you watch a game. So if you can, you know, barely put yourself through a North Melbourne game, pull up a uh, picture of Marco the Phoenix and watch them together, man. See if, see if you can actually see that shit like I do, man. But uh, moving on to the next one, we have Darcy Moore, the fullback from Collingwood Magpies. And I think y'all all know where I'm going with this. I'm pretty sure even before I even got here, in the footy scene, bro. This was just talked about plenty. Uh, pay attention to the hair, the face, obviously. Uh, mostly the hair, obviously, and the headband. Darcy Moore in this picture doesn't have a headband, but he usually does during the game. And his lookalike is none other than, obviously, Kelly O'Lang. 
the power forward slash center from the NBA. Uh, I think they there is a resemblance there, man. Uh, it's more than just the hair, bro. And this picture helps it because more of a straight on picture, Darcy Moore has like more of a squarish face. Uh, where I don't think Kelly Olynyk does, he has more of a longer head, but I think they, they definitely could resemble each other, man. They could be brothers with different dads. Next, we got the boy Xavier O'Halloran, man, from GWS. Look at his face. Now, look at his face, bro. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. Look at his face. Look at the hair. Look at the smile. Bet. Y'all good? Y'all good? Bet, bet, bet. Now, look at this guy, man. Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World 1990 show. Um, this is one of my favorite shows when I was young. I watched it, bro. But look at the face, bro. Look at the smile. Look at it. Bro, the eyebrows, bro. The, bro, the eyes, bro. Them boys are twin. Sean Hunter is like a decade or two older than this boy O'Halloran, bro. I swear he's just like a damn clone that they had him frozen, cryogenically frozen or some shit. This one can be debatable. I will die on this hill, bro. I will. All right, first player we see, obviously. Marcus Bontempelli. Midfielder, Western Bulldogs, Footscray Bulldogs. Now, it's just the angle with him, bro. Look at his face, nose. It's mostly the nose, bro. The nose and the side profile. Really the angle profile. I don't have to be fully the side, but more the angle profile, bro. I just can't get shaped this out of my head, bro. Boom. Slick like the PBS Kids logo, right? Now, look at that. He, Clay Thompson, bro. Shooting guard from the Golden State Warriors, bro. He's PBS Kids logo as fuck, too, bro. Like, I'm gonna have to pull up the logo on these boys, bro. Having both, because it's just something about the long, the nose that points down. It's some shit, bro. Them boy, and it doesn't help. It helps that they're not too far off of skin tone, bro. I think the hair is a stark difference, bro. Obviously, Clay Thompson has a little African American in him, a little black in him, man. So, so he has that natural little curl, especially with his short and length hair. I think. When, Link, when Clay has his hair longer, they, they tend to not look as much alike. Uh, but I do think they do resemble each other. Uh, just more so like around the eyes and the nose area, bro. Just the face. All right. So moving on to the next. This one, we're going to go to the coaching route, bro. Essendon, Ben Rutten. And look at him, bro. All right. Now, I don't think anybody going to argue with me on this one, bro. I don't know if anybody's going where I would follow me where I'm going. But I'll take you there. So look at him. His face, man. You know, Essendon coach. Struggling, got a lot of stress on his face this year. But move on. Who we got now, bro? <laughs> Paul Giamatti, bro. Tell me they don't look alike, bro. Tell me they don't. With a straight face, bro. And feel confident in it. It's around the eyes, bro. They got the same. They both got the obviously both losing the hair just a little bit, man. But it's everything else is kind of similar, bro. Like <laughs> the beard and everything. <laughs> Paul Giamatti, man. If you don't know who he is, uh I I know him from Big Fat Liar when I was young, the movie with Frankie Munez. All right, so next we move into Luke Jackson. Back up Ruckman, uh, slash midfielder down there. Four Melvin Demons. Maybe the future Frio Doctors or the West Coast Eagles, whatever the case may be. But look at him, man. This is gonna be a little silly one, man. Luke Jackson, don't be offended by this if you happen to see this, man. Fuck with you, bro. But you do look like my boy here that I'm about to show you. And I'm pretty sure everybody and their mothers know who this is. The Goomba from Mario, man. Tell me that don't look like that boy, man. The demeanor, the, the face. Luke Jackson is doing them. He's puffing up his jaw a little bit, pushing up that bottom lip, bro. They kind of look alike, man. You just don't have the two teeth coming out in the middle. The eyebrows looking similar. Uh, just give us a little growl. Luke Jackson, you don't fuck around look like, bro. Exactly, bro. Took Miller. Mid Took Miller. If you don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Midfielder from Gold Coast Suns, man. Uh, this is one of the earlier ones, too. So just look at him, bro. Does anybody come to come to mind? I actually got told I look like bro, but I don't look like bro. But all right, Two Miller. Boom. Now, tell me, don't look like this boy, Colin Kaepernick. I think they look very much alike, bro. It's just the face, the eyes, the nose, bro. It's, at least from this picture, bro. Just, they got the similar head shades, bro. The similar skin tone, bro. Obviously, this picture helps because they both have the short hair, which Kaepernick don't really have too much these days. He got the long hair. Uh, but in this picture, I think they do look alike, bro. I think they can resemble each other just a bit. And they could be family, so. Toot Miller, Colin Kaepernick. Right, this is going to be another silly one, man. Clayton Oliver, midfielder from Melbourne Demons, obviously. The gun in the midfield, contested ball beast. One of the best ones in the league. Um, but he obviously has a funny expression on his face in this picture. He's a funny looking dude, man. Um, and he reminds me of this dude from oh, way back in the day. This picture here, bro. 
Troy McGinty is his name. I think his name in real life is Noel Fisher. Uh, he also plays Mickey on Shameless, if you do know. So you can see it in his face, but I did not recognize bro from when I watched part of Shameless and then from this. But look at the facial expression, bro. I think they look alike. If, if, <laughs> if Clayton Oliver had a little bit of orange, like more orange hair rather than on the browner side, bro. I think they would be swans, bro. I don't think they look alike too much these days, but I think they do look alike in this picture, and I found that to be enjoyable, so. That one's pretty funny. All right, we got Calton, Jacob Wiedering. I think everybody knows where I'm going with this one. His face, I'm pretty sure everybody, even people who don't follow AFL probably know where I'm going with this one, so boom. Ted Boy Ross from fucking Friends, bro. David Schwimmer, I think they look alike, bro. I think, I think this is, I think this is objective too. I don't think this is objective ruling. Just look at him, bro. You know, David Weeders, bro. Shout out to that boy. All right. And finally, last but not least, we're going to finish with Carlton, bro. Matty Owies, the Hooper, bro. Uh, small forward from Carlton, bro. Go. I like his kicking goals. I like him with the pressure, man. But this ain't no AFL breakdown. Who could Matt Owies possibly look like? I wonder. <laughs> All right, bro. So this is the Easter Island statues, bro. I just can't help but look at them, bro. Look at it, bro, like this, like the, the head shape, the length. It's like Matt always got like a, a chiseled face, bro. Like his jaws chiseled, his fucking cheekbones are chiseled. And let's look at this stone, bro. It's obviously it's chiseled. Somebody had a t -t 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 -t. so that boy <laughs> Matt always looked like this shit, man. It was like that boy just like when SpongeBob was doing the the damn. The stone crafting or the stone art, whatever the fuck you want to call that shit. I'm not big on art, so I don't know too much about that, man. But I just want to come with a quick video, man. A little quick and joke video we all can laugh at. Uh, also, even maybe possibly teach somebody a show, uh, introduce somebody to a new player in the AFL if they didn't know him. Uh, or even just culture, bro. Just pop culture, whether it's a TV show, like I said, or one of the celebrities, or even a damn Easter Island statue, bro. If you didn't know what the fuck that was, by chance, on the off chance that you didn't, but. Yeah, man, uh, that's really it, bro. I just wanted to come out here and do that shit, man. And hopefully y'all enjoyed it, man. Again, if you did, if there is somebody that you think I left out, um, even if you, if it's not a popular opinion, bro, definitely drop that in the, in the comments. We'll look at it. And if I don't know the person who you may be comparing them to, I'll definitely look it up. Maybe you can teach me something. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. One, two, three, all the YouTube shit, man. You already know. Uh, we also have a Patreon, like we said, man. We continue to uh, express that, bro. If you want to help us, you know what I'm saying? You just feel like supporting the boys, man. We definitely just appreciate that, bro. All the proceeds really go towards um, just anything to make the Road Time Pirates better, make the YouTube channel better, or even if it's us to get out to Australia, bro, because we do have to start saving for that. Uh, and we definitely would love, would love to make that uh, a reality for us. So, yeah, that's really about it, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. We're going out of town this week, uh, like we said earlier in the week, if you were here for the streams. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get up with y'all, man. Fuck with y'all. Steezo out. Come on.